Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the top 10 best centers in NBA 2K23 My Team. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 11,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. We're super close to that 11K mark. Would love to hit that really soon. I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Starting off with the number 10 spot, I am going to go with David Robinson at number 10. Mm, no, I'm not. I lied. I'm going to go Brooke Lopez at number 10. I just changed my mind. This is tough, though. I got to say, Brooke Lopez, when he's fully evoed, is a dark matter. Sorry, there's the fully evo. There we go. Uh, and there's a lot of good centers in the game, especially that have come out recently that are really, really nice. But Brooke Lopez um, has 85 speed and excel. He's a very good shooter with a nice, super good release. He's a really good defensive card as well. Half limitless range, really nice release. The speed elite's release is really good. Moves well, quick drops off one, and normal leaner. Really, really good card at seven foot one at the center position. I don't know, man. This is so tough. The bottom, like, really, honestly, this whole list, I think pretty much from 2 to 10, is so tough to rank because it's so based on opinion in a lot of ways, I feel like. But Lopez at 7-1 is a great, great card. Not the fastest center in the world, but 85 will certainly get the job done in terms of speed. Really nice release now. Just a really, really good card. I don't love his upper, but his base, the elite base is really good. I think he's a very, very good card. Number 9 is going to be David Robinson. This one is it's super debatable between these two guys, honestly, I think. Uh, for me, I'm going to go D-Rob just slightly because I, I love love his release uh, he has 30 hoffs his defense is incredible um, he's got slightly better speed than Lopez still a very very good shooter 95 driving dunk can get every badge added of course uh, Garland size up Lillard behind the back or Lillard sorry Lillard behind the back Garland size up and Kobe escape in addition to a release on quick which may not be quite as good as Lopez's base but I just think it's a, I just prefer it honestly selfishly and he's got slightly better sigs they're both 7-1 it's so close between these two guys but I'm just going to give a very very slight edge to David Robinson number eight undersized admittedly on Alonzo morning i think that's something you got to keep in mind he is very undersized center position but he is such a good card still six or ten with a seven six wingspan the wingspan is great which helps make up for the fact that he is short but hot spots from everywhere 30 hoffs include mainly finishing and defensive badges every defensive badge in the game except for ankle braces is on hoff clamp breaker and quick first step as well but 96 speed and excel is incredible 91 shot three really good dunking is incredible the defensive stats are all 97 and 98 across the board as well as rebounding which is absurd and then he's got john wall base rudy gap rudy gay up on very quick which is a top tier release normal leaner top tier sigs with dmitch size of trey escape a little bit behind the back and then quick drops as well he's the best moving of any center in the game and he's got an incredible release as well and a great wingspan that helps make up for the fact that he's a little bit short which is why i would put him up at number eight number seven is going to be kareem abdul jabbar kareem is another tough one to rank man because you could argue him top three to five if you wanted to this position is so opinion based right now because there's so many cards that are so close to each other but I'm going slightly lower with Kareem because I don't like his release very much. At 7-2 with a 7-5 wingspan and a great player build, as well as super great speed, incredible finishing and defense, and really good playmaking ability for big as well. Um, Sigs are super solid. The little behind the back is nice. The rest of the half-court Sigs aren't incredible, but they're good. Quick drops off one. Release is not incredible, even on very quick, though, and basic leaner knocks him down a little bit. As elite of a defender as he is and as great um, of a like athlete he is, I just... I don't know, man. I can't, I can't get over the fact that I don't like his release very much. And that kills me, especially since I don't feel like he's got the size. As big as he is, he doesn't quite have the size of the guy who I have at number six, which is Arvita Sabonis, who is very, very similar in a lot of ways to Kareem. And actually, Kareem has a pretty significant edge over Arvidas in a lot of ways because Arvidas is seven foot three with a seven six wing so he's a little bit bigger than Kareem, which does give him a slight edge in that aspect. And his player build is definitely bigger. But Kareem is 15 speed faster. Uh, they both have bad releases. Kareem's a more versatile defender um, and a better finisher Arvidas is going to be a slightly better playmaker but he's slower he's going to be a better passer Sigs are so decent he does have quick drops but I don't love his release at all even on very quick it's still not a very good release normal leaner is nice to have Kareem doesn't have that the main reason that I have this card higher than Kareem is because I think he does a better job of stopping guys like Yao and Taco and other seven foot six type centers because of the fact that his player build is better and he's definitely a bigger guy than Kareem and that is super duper crucial so even though I don't think he's quite as good in a lot of ways as Kareem the size gives him a slight edge to me and puts him at number six versus Kareem being at number seven. Peter is going to go number five for me. I think I'm higher on this Peter card than most people are. Um, 
a 7-2 with a 7-10 wingspan. The wingspan is huge for this card, but he's also got a really nice player build, and his release is really nice as well. 77 speed and excel. The badges are not like the most complete in the world. He can get every badge upgraded, so you can add limitless takeoff, limitless range, quick first step, bailout, break starter to him. Um, but he's a very good shooter with a really, really nice release. His Malachi Flynn base is awesome. Uh, does not move well, but he does have quick drops. I think this card can compete better than a guy like Kareem still against a Yao or a Taco, and I love his release, which is why I have him as a top five center in the game, because I think he's one of the better defensive centers on the interior against those giants and i really really like his release a ton this might be a surprise but i have mark gasol all the way up at number four i think mark gasol is one of the best couple cards at both the power forward and center position in my team seven one with a seven four wingspan 90 speed and excel elite level defense uh half anchor brick wall interceptor post lockdown rebound chaser quick first step limitless range agent three bully post drives or post wing rise up a 98 shot three 95 standing 90 driving dunk really good release this kcock base with kobe upper is super nice normal leaner really really good sigs as well john wall escape is great lily behind the back is super nice the pg size up is really good quick drops off one i feel like he's a better version of guys like david robinson and brooke lopez at the center position he is absolutely elite with a top tier release to boot and i do think he deserves to be a top four power forward as high as that may seem for a mark assault card kp is going to come in at number three for me still Seven foot three, elite defender, elite pick and pop, catch and shoot shooter, solid finisher, fast enough, especially at seven three eighty seven speed. And Excel will certainly get the job done. He is a really really nice card uh, with a very solid release as well. The exact same release basically that Bull Bull has. It says different. It says differently, but it's basically the exact same release. Uh, MJ dribble style step behind the back. Rest of his sigs aren't great. He does have quick drops though. He's seven three, which really helps him to compete on the interior against the Allen Taco type cards. He shoots the ball at a very high level and he moves semi decently well and does defend much better than you would expect a KP card to from previous years. Dikembe Mutombo is going to come in at number two for me. Dikembe is another card who I really think is very, very good. Like, I think he's just so good all the way around. Seven foot two with a seven six wingspan, but has a great release and really incredible finishing and especially defensive badges. The defensive stats on the interior are insane. His player build is awesome. He's an incredible rebounder. He's still got very good speed. 79 shot three is low, but you can add every shooting badge to him so you can put limitless range, catch and shoot, claim more guard up, dead eye, etc. on him. And I really like this Mitchell Robinson release that he has a lot with Kobe upper. It's just so smooth, so easy to green. Normal laner, MJ dribble style, Kobe escape, Lula behind the back, gives some decent sigs. Does not have the best dunk animations in the world, but I think he's one of the best defensive bigs in the game. One of the more versatile bigs in the game, and I love his release as well, which is why I have him all the way up at number two. <coughs> Excuse me. Number one. I don't think this one's a shocker. I'm still going Yao Ming. Number one will be Manute Bull when he is made available, but right now that card is not available yet. But Yao is 7'6 with a 7'9 wingspan, 80 speed, and the ability to shoot the ball. That's still about all you need to know about the card. He can shoot at a high level. He's got 80 speed for a 7'6 player, which is just obscene still. And he is still the most overpowered center in the game because of his size, because of the speed aspect with the size, and the fact that he has a decent enough release and a very solid shot. He has Robert Williams base just like uh, Arvidas Sabonis, but the SJ upper is way better than the Kyle Anderson upper, and it's much smoother on him. So his release feels much better than Sabonis's, even though it's the same base, and Yao's is actually slower because Yao has a much better upper. I think he's just still so, so good. This card, I've said it many times. Why did he come out January 20th? That was one of the dumbest things 2K has done all year is dropping this card that early. He should have been dropping around now, not three months ago when he was just insanely unfairly overpowered and so so dominantly good i don't know to what 2k was thinking with that one but he certainly is a great great card still and still in my opinion the best center in my team but that is going to do it for this video i hope you all did enjoy if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace